Hello! In this video, we are going to practice with questions to ask for directions. Asking for directions. The objective for this lesson is to ask questions about how to get to a place in your city. We're going to focus only on questions for now, all right? So that you can um, know how to ask for directions when you need to. These are some sample questions. All of them start with this expression, which is very useful because we want to be polite. We want to be nice. We say, excuse me. We say, excuse me first before we ask the question. And the question could be something like this. Any of these could work. For example, you could say, which is the way to the... And then you say the name of the place. Let's say bakery all the time. I love, I love bread. Where is... Where is there a bakery around here, for example? Yes? Next, I need to go to the bakery. And the people will give you the directions. Or you could say, how do I get to the bakery? Do you know where a bakery is or the bakery is? Where is the nearest or where is the closest bakery, for example? And after they give you the directions or they just indicate point at uh, point in the direction of the place you say thank you or thanks or as we have here thank you very much and you could also say i appreciate it means i am very happy or very grateful that you did that for me all right those are the questions that we can use to ask for directions we're going to practice this um with these questions, completing the following sentences, the following questions, okay? Look at them. They, there are more than two or sometimes three um, spaces, blanks for you to complete. So analyze them carefully and see how you can complete those questions. Pause my video, complete the activity, and in a moment I will show you some sample answers. Go ahead. Pause my video, complete the activity, please. Right, I hope that you did pause the video and here are the answers. The first one, is there a library in this neighborhood? Mm -hmm. Next one, how do I get to the bus stop? You could say, how do I go to, but get is a good uh, way to do it. Next, do you know where the post office is? Do you know? Next one. Which is the way to the laundromat? That is one way of answering that. And the last one, where is the nearest gas station? We have the superlative there. And of course, we have the there. All right. So thank you for completing that activity. I have another one for you. This one says, write five different questions asking about the location of places in your own neighborhood. So let's stay in your neighborhood. Think about the questions only. That's what we're doing in this lesson. Just focus on the questions for now. All right. So pause my video, complete the activity. And in a moment, I will show you some sample answers. Go ahead. Pause the video, complete the activity, please. All right, I hope that you did pause my video and that you completed the activity. And here I have some sample uh, answers, which are in, indeed questions that a student wrote. All right, somebody wrote, where is the Altasia shopping mall? All right, how do I get to the general hospital? Yes, which is the way to Benito Juarez Park? Do you know where the Bicentenario Theater is? And the last one, where is the closest police station? All right. Of course, depending on where you live, you're going to have different um, names for the places. But this is just an example that somebody wrote. All right. Thank you for having completed the activity. Now, what you're going to do is listen to the native speaker and Practice your pronunciation with them. Go ahead. Listen and practice, please. Where is the Altasia shopping mall? How do I get to General Hospital? 
which is the way to Benito Juarez Park. Do you know where the Bicentenario Theater is? Where is the closest police station? All right, thank you. Thank you very much for having practiced your pronunciation. Remember that we focused in this lesson on questions, but we introduced the questions with excuse me, and then you thank them. You say thank you very much, I appreciate it. All right, thank you very much, and I hope to see you in the next activity.